Hello everybody to the first video in the new room and yeah not quite sure yet about whether I positioned the camera but I think I found a good angle for now I made a previous video where it wasn't quite that good but I think I like that one wearing Tottenham yeah Tottenham beat Inter that's the reason why but today we're gonna look at a new shirt in a new room it seems to be fitting to me um, actually it's two new shirts but with a twist uh, as you know or may know the last three shirts that I got, including this wonderful Sampdoria shirt I got from an Austrian flea market page. Um, and let's say, while they all have been priced very reasonably, uh, I think my Brazil 93 shirt was 20 bucks, the Sweden shirt was 5 bucks, and this one was 15 bucks. Um, the quality, you could tell it's used, especially the Sampdoria shirt. I just needed to get it because A, look at that. You've seen it in the video it's just uh, beautiful and you don't get it for that much uh, money but you can clearly tell this has been worn I personally don't mind a worn shirt um, especially if it's in good condition but you know uh, there's nothing beats a crisp shirt and when I compare the Sampdoria shirt to other shirts that I've been worn like this last shirt that I have forever uh, it is about as equally Beat up maybe even a little bit more but it's not in a bad way I think it's still very wearable having said all that there was there were two more shirts uh, one was a Barcelona 2011 shirt that you now know is near the top 10 uh, which was for 40 bucks even with a Messi back there but unfortunately it was already, already sold out and I could get another one uh, but it had to be in a pack of two for 30 bucks uh, and you know it now this was Paris Saint-Germain I always wanted to have this is my away jersey that I had and I always wanted to have classic Paris Saint-Germain home jersey and given that since, two, since 2012 Paris Saint-Germain has not issued a nice looking classic PSG shirt I already was resigned. Yeah, I know that the one from 2011-2012 looked nice, but maybe the navy. Although I liked it, uh, I liked it, but you know, it it was still the navy on the side. But that one looked good, and I was always considering that one as my alternative. But it really was about those from the late 90s when PSG was really good, and I actually was a fan really was a fan uh these days i'm getting it's almost like with chelsea i was a really huge chelsea fan in the 90s uh, and then abramovich comes in and it doesn't feel that right and uh, anymore and i have a similar feeling now with with psg and i don't rate neymar as high on the other side you know i still have i gotta be honest i have sympathies um i know Especially if you're a French fan, it doesn't seem quite right. Although I have a French colleague who supports all French teams, uh, because there are more traditional teams out there, and PSG was a clear attempt to actually get a Parisian team to be successful after Racing de Paris fell down to the doldrums of lower level French soccer. But you know, uh, all that much, all that didn't matter that much, and I remember going 94 to Paris. Uh, staying with a the family there, it was from school, and the boy there was a huge PSG fan, and uh, that was actually kind of the last kicker for me. Not only did I did I love Paris, still among my top five cities, although I think uh, these days it's so super crowded uh, that it would be horrible. But yeah, uh, that kind of sealed the deal for me, and so I had to get a double package and. I don't mind having two shirts, but as we will see, the first one that I got, and I show you the lesser one first, is this one. Let's put it there. And you can clear already from the missing manufacturer here and the weird color. This is a counterfeit jersey. It actually looks not that bad. I mean, if you see, there's a distinct shadow pattern on there. Uh, the Seat Turtel sponsor, of course, was for in 94 95 season. And I think this is the season that they want to copy with that one, the 94-95. I looked through all the jerseys and that's the closest one I get. But you know, the PSG logo is not the, this newer one that never caught on. It's a little bit off-center than the color. They never had such a color, although I like this color. 
Um, but you can clearly tell it's also very, it's a thinner material and <laughs> the last one, if you weren't sure, is here in the back, the sponsors. So yeah, uh, I do like, however, the shadow pattern on there. That's actually kind of sweet. So yeah, it was in the deal for 30 bucks to get a really good one. I said, okay, let's do that one. So what was the really good one? One season later, 95, 96. Uh, the one that they won the Cup Winners Cup in. That was basically the PSG shirt that I really wanted to have. Oh, let's, I'll stay here. See, I have to get used to the new room. Uh, that was, if I'm honest, there have been nice PSG shirts. I think the 90, the one before and the one after were also not bad, but this in a way is the iconic one. Um, Although it doesn't have a shirt collar, it has this nice V neck, but I actually like it as well, the blue with the red stripe. Uh, and this shirt is in remarkably good condition. I have looked at it many times and there's only, I think, one or two spots where I can find a little pull or whatever. Uh, very happy about that. Um, look on the back, it is empty. And you can see here the start shadow pattern where the circle in the middle of the star of course is the psg logo but this is very hard yeah here you can see it there's a psg logo in there and it says around paris Saint -Germain, paris Saint -Germain. so really nice pattern showing it to you here too um and actually exactly with this shirt uh, there i have two stories the first one is a personal one the second one is the one of the cup final um, the personal one is that from 94 on, this was when we went to school to, to Paris, I was a clear PSG fan. I declared PSG my next team and it was LASK, it was Milan, it was Ajax, it was PSG in that order roughly. Uh, Barcelona there, but yeah, that's a whole, di whole different story. And I gotta say, um, I was very happy with the progress. Uh, they played well in the Champions League when they made it to the semi-finals. It was even to the point, uh, as you may know, I went to the 95 Champions League final in Vienna. Uh, of course, uh, it was great how I got those tickets. Um, but that's maybe a story I should also tell separately. Uh, when I, I want to do a history of the Champions League. So maybe there's, the, there's a... Um, opportunity i don't want to waste now this video for that it's gonna be a long video anyway but what, what i wanted to say is that um we had the tickets but we didn't know who was playing of course because this was in march and i think there was it's still the quarterfinals tour to be played it was clear that ix is kind of gonna, gonna, gonna get in there but i remember the other semi final was milan against psg and milan had been beaten twice by ajax and i was kind of a little bit you know the whole season this was not a good season for milan per se um, and there was a feeling of me that, you know, I don't want to see them play Ajax again. I would like to that PSG gets in. Yeah, it got Milan again. I was very neutral at that final. Very neutral. I just had a Milan wristband. <laughs> you know, when you're young, you're sometimes stupid. Uh, so that was, um, that was kind of where my fandom comes from. But, you know, the other person's story, I was the fan. And Rapid Vienna made it to the final, who were not as uh, highly regarded in Austria as Salzburg two years earlier, because it's a team from, from from Vienna and you had already clear expectations to them. You either hated them or you either loved them. But of course, everyone in my class was kind of happy and everyone in my class wanted Rapid to win. I was the only one that wanted PSG to win. And yeah, they won. And I figured out Paris, Saint-Germain, Paris, SG, and SK Rapid have almost the same letters. SK, K, and G uh, is not, and then the D and the S. And if you can imagine around, uh, you can do some crazy things there that I did on the board back then. I basically gloped it after that final. And yeah, <laughs> my team won. My team won, not Rapid. A team that I've been uh, loving to hate ever since I became a Lusk fan. So that's a nonsensical thing for me about European competition. Anyway, uh, the other.
Sorry, I got interrupted. Let's finish this video. So the story that the other one I uh, was the one that this was the last time that there was no sponsor on the cup final. Um, and it was actually down to Rapid who said, uh, we thought that uh, there won't be a sponsor on the final. So they had prepared the shirts without any sponsor and more or less there was an agreement between the clubs and also kind of forced Paris Saint-Germain to not have a sponsor because otherwise Rapid said yeah we have to reorder them this is gonna take us forever um, and it's easy to get blank shirts. Now to the special parts of the shirt we already saw the shadow pattern there are a few more I mean the opal sponsor I really like the blue outline around it note also the Nike logo here and what drove me a little bit crazy but uh, it's really how it was on the replica look at the PSG crest it's just the logo there is no Paris Saint-Germain there's no founding date just as a comparison this was the 98-99 version there's Paris Saint-Germain there's 1970 the founding date on there so this was missing on, on the next year's version it's already on there so uh, that kind of uh, threw me off when I got it I immediately needed to check that one um, two more things we have the this style of crest on one sleeve and I honestly don't know what this is I was first assuming this might be since they won the cup that this is the cup winners um, logo but I'm honestly not sure so any ideas you can give me what this means is this something PSG specific is this um, is this the Coupe de France logo for the winner? I would be more than uh, happy to know. I will be doing research on that myself, but it's actually a very nice touch. You have this one here, you have this one here. This is a great shirt. It really is a great shirt. Of course, here you have the authentic Nike tag. This is, I think, now the oldest Nike shirt that I own. So that also is pretty cool. Wonderful shirt. Uh, I would like to have PSG put in there constitution like Bayern did now that uh, jersey will only be red and white PSG this is our design the Echter, Echter, Hechter, however you call it design that should be how PSG is playing as long as they don't I don't recognize them as a true PSG sorry to say well let me know what you, uh, what you think about this kit whether you like it whether you dislike it um, any memories attached to it? I have a lot of memories attached to it. I'm very happy to have this one. Uh, this is one of the crown jewels now of my <laughs> collection, I have to say. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. I hopefully will have new uh, jerseys soonish and I have a few that I haven't looked at yet. So there's stuff to go. And if you do so, I will talk to you soon. Bye.